Long have I awaited this. The day that you would come. Vanquish the Dark Knight. You and he are one no more. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. It's her or us, Cecil. She's a child! You'd betray your king? King! What are you doing? Let me ease your suffering. Cecil! Look out! Stay back. This is a fight for me and me alone. The time has come. Bid farewell to your bloodstained past. Let's turn the clocks back to the early days of the PlayStation 1. Do you remember the slogan that came out and became famous during the release of Final Fantasy 7? Remember? Relive the fantasy? Final Fantasy? Well that slogan couldn't be any truer. Hi, my name is Joel. <laughs> Better known as Spidey 2065 for those who can't remember my name! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. So yeah, I'm Joel, better known as your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, Spidey, and welcome to my review of Final Fantasy IV. Better known as Final Fantasy II in the US, Square Enix brings back the classic game to a fantastic modern day form, which is sure to please old and new fans alike. Square Enix managed to revamp the whole world of Final Fantasy IV, giving you something totally new while keeping the same feel of the original game which to a nostalgic gamer and RPG fan like myself is a major plus. The outline of the game's story is the same as the original, but with the addition of more cutscenes and voice acting it becomes a bit more compelling than the first time around. Truly this is some great voice work for the game, and I was even a bit shocked at how good it was for a DS game. Some may argue that the game's story isn't much of a big deal and that it's pretty straightforward when comparing it to other Final Fantasy games that came after it. But you see, Final Fantasy IV laid the groundwork for compelling and interesting stories in the Final Fantasy series. Although its tale is nothing amazing, before Final Fantasy IV you had the same extremely basic story over and over again. So you have the main character of the game, his friend who is basically like him, a girl who will become the white mage of your party, and the other guy who will become the black mage of your party. These four people are all orphans who don't have a clue of their real past, and soon come into contact with a crystal who sends them off on an adventure to collect the other crystals and defeat the elemental monsters known as fiends who possess them. So the four young heroes go on an adventure fighting the fire fiend, water fiend, earth fiend, and lightning fiend before finally getting to the boss, and when they do, they kill the boss and all is happy. Final Fantasy IV was a game to break that cycle of storytelling and did a great job of presenting something new as well as going into depth into the lives and struggles of each character. While trying to present emotion in its story and, with its new revamped image and great voice work, the story's entertainment value stays as high as it was when it first was presented. Graphics are also top notch and this game has to be one of the prettiest games I've seen on the DS to date. I thought Square Enix hit the limit with Final Fantasy 3 in the graphics department but oh man was I wrong. Every character in place has been totally revamped in 3D and they toned down the kid like image of the characters which gave it a more adult feel which I enjoy since I was never much of a fan of the kid like image of some of the Final Fantasy games like 9 or Crystal Chronicles. Overall gameplay is fantastic as well. And I'm telling you, this game kicks so much ass. That it'll make you have a gamergasm so big that it'll explode all over someone's face. Okay, maybe that won't happen. But this game does kick so much ass that when your girlfriend sees it, it's gonna make her go wild and... Alright, maybe none of that will happen, but... When your significant others wonder where you vanished to for the past two weeks, chances are you're in hiding playing this awesome game. The core gameplay engine basically remained the same while having a few changes to better enhance your gaming experience. The game retains its original active time battle system, making you wait till your bar gets full before a character can take a turn. And while waiting for your bar to fill up, you will be subject to your enemy's attacks, which forces you to formulate a strategy and think quick. You do have the option to slow down or speed up the wait time of the battle system, giving you more time to think out your turns, or make a fight really intense with a sped up battle system. The game also brings the new features of the augment system to the table. Unlike past Final Fantasy games, not all characters who join your party will stay in it. Some leave get separated or die, and when they do, they leave augments behind, which are magic abilities of theirs that can be equipped to a character of your choice. 
but be careful and wise when using them, as it is a one-time use deal and the move can't be removed once used. These augment abilities all serve a great use from powerful moves like Tsunami to defensive counters that allow a character to take damage for another targeted wounded character. Yeah, that's right, I said it, take damage for another wounded character. Remember in boss battles when a character would get KO'd and you would use a phoenix down to revive them only to have them KO'd again next turn by the boss before you could heal them? Well that's no longer the case with a defensive augment that allows a character to shield a targeted wounded character from attack. The game also gives you hours of gameplay after you finish the core story with little side quests and mini games, and I gotta say, that some of these mini games are really addicting like Cecil Sword Slashing Mini Game. You also have the option to train and use the character Rider Summon, Sight. Aside from fighting in the game, you may play his mini games as well as train him and you even have the option to customize him however you feel using the DS's touchscreen. I made mine look like the Joker. You also can use Stite to battle other friends and multiplayer is up to 4 players. Truly Square Enix aims to set the bar really high with this game and it's a must buy if you're a fan of RPGs or Final Fantasy and I highly recommend it if you own a DS. So like Snoop Dogg in Amsterdam, run to your store, buy this and hit that shit. Final verdict? The game kicks ass. Final Fantasy 4 DS gets a 4 out of 5.